Yeah. So fly out tomorrow. Okay? Yeah, sounds good. Hey, thanks for your help. Bye. You boys picking up his truck. <laughs> What is up, YouTube? Thank you so much for tuning in again. It is your boy Tiki. And I got some good news for you. You could actually read it in the title right there. That is right, I am picking up my truck. So today is Tuesday, and just last Saturday, I finished up with my training engineer in Phoenix, Arizona. The following morning, which was Sunday, they flew me out from Phoenix, Arizona up to Portland, Oregon to go to the Portland Operating Center to meet my driver team leader. Now on Monday, I went to the Portland Operating Center, met my driver team leader, and he spent the whole day looking for a truck for me. And then ended up going back to the hotel. And then the next day, which is today, Tuesday, I met with him again and he finally found a truck for me. So normally I would have been picking up my truck here in Portland at the Portland Operating Center, uh, but they didn't have any trucks available. So uh, they are flying me out to where my truck is. And that's gonna be out in Stockton, California. So here I am about to fly an hour and a half away to go pick up my truck at a Schneider Yard in Stockton, California. I'm gonna take you guys along for that process, but I'm not gonna do the step-by-step. -step. I'm not gonna show you the airport like I did in the last video. I'm gonna make this part easy. We're gonna use a little bit of YouTube magic to get there. You guys ready? Wait, my bad, this is the restroom, hold up. There we go. And here we are, man. I finally got my truck. So I got the 2019 Freightliner Cascadia and uh, I couldn't be more happier, man. I honestly really wanted to get the new P4 generation because I like the looks of the interior and the exterior. Like the headlights just look sexy on the P4 Cascadia. Like I was a little worried that I would end up with the P3. I wasn't going to be picky. If I got the P3, it wouldn't have been a big deal. You know, I just kept thinking about it like, man, I'm, I want the P4. I'm going to get the P4. I know I'm going to get the P4. Uh, and then I had a dream last night before I flew out to Sacramento from uh, Portland that I was walking through a lot and then I saw a gray, uh, gray Cascadia P4. And lo and behold, it was a gray P4. But yeah, man, welcome to my humble abode. This is going to be life for the next couple months, man. So let me go ahead and give you a tour. I spent about four hours wiping everything down. Um, it looks like the truck was left at a third party lot and all they did was like sweep the floor and took out all the garbage, but they didn't wipe anything down. So like the entire dash, everything was dusty like it was just straight up dusty and then like the cup holders were a little messy like spilt coffee stuff like that no big deal um but once you get to over here see i forgot to wipe these down these are super dusty just think of every surface in this truck that dusty and that's what it looked like um there was dust on the walls and stuff like that see there's still a little bit of dust there i missed that um and then the bed that I got, it was a it's it's used, it came with the truck, but it looked like it was barely used. So it was taken care of. The truck doesn't smell. I'm happy about that. The truck doesn't smell. I was worried. I was like, man, I hope I don't get a really stinky truck. But it doesn't smell like anything in here, so it's I think we're all good. But anyway, so here's my bed. Um I went ahead and I took the rental car from the airport, went straight to Walmart, and then I bought sheets. Fun fact, if you guys didn't know, this is a twin XL bed. So if you need to buy sheets for your truck, before you get your truck, the P3 and the P4 Cascadias, they are all the same. Twin XL size mattress down here. And then the top bunk is the same thing, twin XL. You could get those sheets if you want. I'm not, that's gonna be my storage space later. Um, but yeah, so I think it looks good. I didn't know what color to put, so I went with the navy blue. Um, and then the black comforter. So I think it looks good. I, it looks pretty sharp to me. So this is the captain's seat. As you can tell, it's a little dirty. I don't have like a, uh, a, like an interior cleaning vacuum where it shoots the water and vacuums it up. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's pretty dirty there. I totally understand this. The passenger seat is too, and I get it. It's a work truck. So I'm not, I'm not complaining about that. And for the most part, like seeing the way everything was kept it looks like the previous owner or the previous user of this truck 
definitely took care of it. So the only downside is I think after he ended up getting out of this truck, uh, maybe one of the shop guys left the window open and that's where all the dust came from. Uh, but yeah, so this is the inside of my truck. I'm pretty happy, man. There's cabinet space here, cabinet space here, cabinet space there, there. Can't really see it because it blends in with the dark. Cabinet space here, here. This is where a microwave's supposed to be. And this is where a fridge would go. This is a 2019 first gen P4 where they don't have the fridge right here. And then the second gen 2019 P4 has the fridge right here. So the good thing about this truck is that there are actual wall outlets right there connected to the inverter. So if I need to plug in my laptop or charge the GoPro batteries, I can use that. So yeah, that's the inside of my truck. I am definitely really happy. This is this is the exact model that I wanted and I just kept speaking it into existence. I ended up having a dream about it and it came true. So I don't know if I want to show you guys the outside yet. It's like really dirty. It's been sitting for a while and nobody has washed the truck. Um, and then like I could go wash the truck right now if I want to, but I'm going to be going north from here, which is from California to Portland and maybe even Washington. And right now there's a lot of snow falling in places. So that means there's a lot of sand and salt on the roads right now. And if I wash the truck now in California and then head up there, it's just gonna, it's just gonna get dirty again. I don't think I'm gonna wash it until springtime rolls around. I'm just gonna keep it the way it is right now. I'm gonna keep the windows clean so I can see and that's about it. Um, and it's gonna drive me crazy though because I hate when things are dirty. Uh, and then whenever I walk away from my truck and then walk back to it, I'm gonna be like, ugh, it's so dirty. It's gonna drive me crazy, I already know it. And I hope it, <laughs> hope it doesn't drive you guys crazy because I'm not gonna wash it for a while, I'm sorry. Anyways guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I definitely, definitely appreciate you guys watching. And if you found this video informational or valuable or you learned something today or you just wanted to see what it would look like picking up your first truck on your first day with a mega carrier, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And if you guys have any questions or want to discuss anything or give me some advice or, you know, let me know what you guys want to see, go ahead and hit the comment section down below. I'll go ahead and talk to you guys about it and we'll see what we can do. If you haven't done so already, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I post. I will be posting once or multiple times a week. I'm going to try to keep a steady flow with the uploads. And I'm just going to keep trying to crank out some content for you guys so you guys can learn about the rookie lifestyle with Schneider. Thank you so much for watching. You know what time it is. Your boy Tiki is out.